Robin. We welcome you, ma'am. Who is our today's chief guest? She is going to address us on big data analytics. And we also like to thank our management and our beloved principal, Dr. E. Kamala Nabil, and our HOD, who provide us a platform to address in latest technology. Dr. D. Doreen Robin is the director of Computational Intelligence Research Foundation. She received her B.Tech in Information Technology from Madras University, Chennai, Yami in Computer Science and Engineering from Anna University, Chennai, and PhD in Computer Science and Engineering from Anna University. Her research interest includes parallel and distributed computing, peer-to-peer -peer computing, grid computing, cloud computing, and big data analytics. Previous position includes Professor and Head at Loyola ICAN College of Engineering and Technology in the Department of Information Technology, Assistant Professor at the Department of Computer Science and Engineering in Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Chennai, Teaching Research Associate at Computer Department of Computer Science in Anna University, Chennai, and also Assistant Professor at the Department of Information Technology in SSN College of Engineering, Chennai. Her credits are, she has published about 30 papers in international and national journals and conferences. She is a life member of ISTE. She is a reviewer for Computer and Electrical Engineering Journal and Future Generation Computer Science Journal. Now I am going to hand over the session to Dr. T. Doreen Robin. Yes or no? No, you are all out with so much of eagerness. Okay. What does the word big data mean? Large amount of data. Good then? Huge data. The other word then? How many of you Google? I am going for a guest lecture to go on big data analytics. Let me just Google and see what is big data analytics. You have got a subject called big data analytics. Very good. Then you should give me even more predominant answers. Students mentally don't ask this question. You will sit for two hours. Yes? Is that your intention? No. No. Okay. So, I am Dr. Dori. I have been working with the engineering colleges for more than 10 years in SSN, in SVC, in Anna University. Last April, I started my company called Computational Intelligence Research Foundation, CIRF. Okay? When you go home, just Google it and find CIRF. Don't give anything, just from the Google search, you give CIRF. You will get my company's website on top one. How is that possible? It's possible using Google search indexes. So I offer a course something on digital marketing. What is digital marketing? Have you heard about digital marketing? <laughs> so these thing is designed using a search console where if I go and just give CIRF, you will get my website on top. When I designed the website, I was not able to figure out my website even in the search to figure out your website. Then I thought how that would be possible. Then we started working with digital marketing. Then at the end of it, now if you go, you can try it out today also. If you have Google, just type CIRF, you will get a Computation and Projects Research Foundation. So, as one date, I started this company in April 2017. As one date, I trained more than 150 uh, scholars, research scholars, UG students, PG students, PhD students, on big data analytics, even corporates. And I have given training on Python programming. Even in Python programming, I have lost 150 members. The count is less here. Uh, I go, I give training, every training of mine is 40 hours training. Okay? With the 40 hours, it's fully hands-on. Whenever you work hands-on only, you will know the pros and cons of it. How does, your, how does the tool work? What are the functionalities this tool provides? How many of you know cooking here? Cooking, something here. Everybody can understand the right? It's not. How many of you know cooking? Only one. The sector? Nobody knows. Nowadays, this sector is more more cooking than this sector. In the wherever I go, wherever I go, because I go to Burma, I go to at least 10 to 15 
pathologists. Then I'm like, who knows who be? Only the boys are like, see, I'm going to, you know, Maggie Donuts Nobles. Okay. Something or the other, you know, right? Uh, how many of this? A girl here raised her hand. Who knows who be? Who? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Huh? Any one, one, one recipe? You know to make biryani. How many times have you made biryani? Many times. Do you remember the first biryani that you made? You do not remember. How it came out? And you made sambar here? How was it? First sambar. Whether it will be watery or it will be very comfy. Oh, very watery. It will not look like rasam. It will not look like sambar. Sit down. Because it is a hands-on experience, you walk with that and now I think you will be doing a better sambar now. That's all. It's definitely yes. Okay, so whenever, even your programming tools is like that. You have to use the tool, you have to work with the tool, you will get errors once you deeper. Once you become experienced with the tool, only you will be able to work more on industry. You don't think your computer science industry is going to be the same as you are now. 10, 15, 20 years. If you are not expertise in one tool, you cannot survive in any of the, college, any of the companies. Till college, we are in a very cosy environment. See a beautiful place, a beautiful AC, a beautiful dress. Either you listen or not, it is your parents' uh, duty to pay the fee. We come here, enjoy our three years. Other people have enjoyed three years, are you see? Only once you step out and you go and knock the doors for a job, that is where you will find where you stand. So wherever I go, I strongly recommend students to make yourself versatile in one technology. You cannot be versatile in all technologies. Take one technology and learn deep into it so that you will be able to face whenever you go to you can speak of what that means. Okay? I think at the end of the session, I will give you the insights how it works, where it is working. And I work on uh, video training on hybrid mobile app development. What is this will be your future? How many of you work in Android Studio? How many of you work in Xcode? Xcode is a tool to develop mobile applications for iOS. Android Studio for Android. Okay. Now a day uh, in future we will be having a tool. We give training onto that. One technology, one only one coding. Okay, using the tool. That now you can get four outputs. One output is for an Android app mobile, the same coding, different outputs. The same coding output for iOS, the same coding output for web HTML page, and the same coding output for Windows. You will understand? In the future, your technology will be like that. So, less coding, whatever you need, you will be getting an output of it. So, we give training onto that, and I give training on how to set up a digital classroom. Anybody here by chance will come into teaching field? Let me see your hands. How many of you would like to be a professor or assistant professor? Nobody. When we don't get any job, no. You drive in every company, you don't get any job, then you come for teaching. Teaching is one of the best uh, places where you can develop yourself. Once you prepare well and you explore things. Okay, every, every student is more important. Okay, that where we train, I give training for the faculty members how to set up a digital classroom. This classroom is used outside the classroom, not within the classroom, where students can do your assignments, your uh, uh, announcements, everything could be done digitally. And I keep, keep training on IP Watson. How many of you have heard about Boomix? We know only Preeti Messi. Uh, how many of you have heard the word IBM Boomix? If you are make a note, make a note of it. There is a beautiful tool called IP Monson is giving. It's only 15 days trial version. I give training two days. What is cognitive analytics? What do you think a system will explore? Nowadays, if you try to send a Gmail, you reply some set of sentence, Gmail itself is giving you. Yes, I will do it. According to your sentence, how many of you have explored it? We know only Facebook. We know only WhatsApp status. How many of you explored? Why are you not It gives you right some response. Yes, I will do it. Yes, true, definitely or definitely not. That is called cognitive. What do you think the system will explore? Say for example, what's your name? 
Priya Dashmi. Priya Dashmi, you are a Hindu. Okay, then you will definitely go for shopping for Sinam Sinam. You will go shopping for Diwali. Yes? So, what kind of dresses you like? Traditional, only sarees. Only sarees she likes. So, which means your tool will learn that this mobile app, a mobile that is used by Priya Dashmi, has got a quality tool which will understand a taste and flavor of a dress. So it's Diwali. This year she would have got the dress. Next year before Diwali, the tour will say, Hello Priya Dashmi, when Diwali is coming, these are the places near in place where you get the best offer for the traditional dresses even before you search for it. This is called cognitive analysis. What do you think the system will give you the answer? You will understand? Say for example, how many of you use Google Maps? Then today morning I used Google Maps. I, I took up this route, I think. I came inside that agricultural. The Google Maps showed a place that there was no road. Okay, I was traveling, traveling, traveling. Then they said, Bodhu Vali Sari Allah. But what would I was halfway through? Then I don't know, because I'm exploring it the first time. At last I came out near this sand. So that Google to tell me the solution, the source, and the destination. Say for example, your man wants to go from college to a home, pass your home now. So as the college stops, man immediately wants to go home because of the kids, take care of the family. Yes or no? So immediately she wants to go, she wants the shortest to go to go. But you students, college is over. For you that time only college time will start. You don't want to go earlier, you want to stay in circle the entire Chennai and then you want to go. That is your mindset. The mindset of your professor is different. Anybody understand? But whether Google can take it, you ask for source and give you a destination. Cognitive analytics will know this is your age, this is your mindset, and it will tell you the roundabout route to go to your destination. But cognitive analytics is deployed. Now it's only machine learning that is deployed in Google Maps. You have a source, you have a destination, it will tell you. But it will not take your inner sights or inner feet. That's the tool of cognitive analytics. What do you think the system takes from? Uh, so th when we come for training, every training of mine is 40 hours training. Okay? At least by 40 hours of hands-on training only, every time I take very limited set of students who really want to learn technology. As I call us, they are planning for 40 hours course. Uh, you know, if you, if you are interested, any student they come, any corporate they come, I don't compel anybody to join the course. If you are really interested, if you have an idea, you can come and deploy it. So every semester, your great students will come, they take four years training, throughout the semester they, they develop a project. Every course will have two practical assignments and one project. Nothing is defined by you. Everything is defined by students. You have, how many of you have got an idea? Can I give your idea? If I am able to make it as a product, it will be better. Anybody? You use so many mobile applications here. You use so many gadgets. If this, if, if I could find a solution to this problem, it would be better. Anybody has got an idea? Definitely you will all have. Just think for a while. What was your idea? Artistic? Okay, very good. Have you found whether any of the applications are available? of the functionalities, very good. So students like the partners, they come with an idea, like it, it, you cannot develop a product as, as and when you like. You have to take proper training of every two, and then only the training will be given, and then it will get bring a project on it. Like per course, they will come throughout the semester. They come during the, during the vacation, they learn, and throughout the semester, when and where you get a time, they come, they develop. It's only a certain model to develop your projects. What is big data? As you all know, big data refers to huge volume of data. Big itself is huge. That cannot be stored or processed using your traditional system. How many of you got a laptop? As what is the configuration of the laptop? <coughs> okay. 2 GB RAM. Hmm. Okay. How many of you have done some attachments? What is the size?
size of your attachment? <laughs> what is the maximum size you can attach? A little more, it's not 20 MB. No? What is the maximum size you can attach? Squirrel log. Squirrel log. Okay, whatever it is. If you got your uh, Gmail ID, because I set a Google Suits for organization where Google freely gives email IDs for colleges, for students, for teachers, having some education institutions. For corporate, for mail ID on their own domain per person per month is is possible. But for colleges and for education institutions, it is giving them free of cost. Okay? So for that, you don't have any limitations on Google Drive. But for Gmail Drive, what is the size? Mobile operating system. 
How many of you know by chance to install an operating system? Only one, two, three, four. The center out of the coverage area. Okay. I don't know how many of you know a configuration of the laptop. That my parents got, I use it, I see my Facebook, WhatsApp, mail ID, static, static. Some assignments you will tell your parents. No, I do assignments. That is what I am asking for laptop. Your assignment will be used only 10 percent, 90 percent is for some other purpose. Okay. So you should know as every time I was into a college, I find they say I am computer science engineers or computer science professors or computer application people, but you don't know how to install an operating system. That is the shape to come to us. So the course I want to start with installation of Ubuntu, only in Ubuntu you can go for I don't even use special machines. Yes, one thing. They have at least tried to explore something. You 
people, I've got a Jarawa, we now speak better middle question in Ayurveda. I have to, I'm creating some kind of ministry, like CFC. So everything I have my channel to upload it. Per minute, around the world, how many hours of videos are uploaded? 300 hours of fresh videos are uploaded. Which means, you think how much and how far they should process the data and store the data and whenever you want, you want to watch your videos. You have uploaded the video and then how many hours you can still see your videos, yes? Which means, YouTube permanent around the world, 300 hours of videos are uploaded, fresh videos permanent. Which means, for all these YouTube and Google, you know, in Google there are 9 dots. How many of you use Google? Gmail use for bring up. You have internet,
website uk.flightaware.com okay. So in uk.flightaware.com you can find the entire flight status for this part. There are many What is the time? 11 o'clock. What is your flight status? Okay. Which when the latitude, when the longitude, and so on. If you are interested, go home and check it out. I think the net connection is a little slow here. So, you can apply it at that .com. It will tell you from which point, which point app has been used. Huh? Google also it has. But this website will give you an entire view, the entire world map. Here you can be specific for one, one, one flight, how it is being processed. Because I came to know once my parents were traveling outside India, I was able to make every move of them. I was keep on figuring it out. Which means how much volume of data transferred between a server from the stationary earth to the flight. Every latitude, every place has got a latitude and longitude here above us. Every latitude and longitude are process or map and again every move show. For this entirely, we are not a technology works. Huge, huge volume of data. Okay, per day, every volumes of data, per day, how many flights have been traveled, how many distance it is covering. Everything is stored and managed, stored and manipulated using your auto technology.
When the water heats up, we pump it back outside where it evaporates. Now that you've had a glimpse, Not only in the system, if 
Imagine four football grounds. How huge it would be? Very small. It's huge. And one data center is how large? 